Hello, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us and today I have this 1999 Airstream Cutter 35. Um, and as the model name insinuates, it is a 35 foot diesel pusher. Um, this coach is ex in an excellent condition. It was, it's been garage kept. Um, and today I'm gonna walk you on the outside, inside, and then we're gonna go get it on the road and I'm gonna give it a test drive. Now up front, it's got a 7,500 watt Onan quiet diesel generator. It's been running for the last hour. Pull this little tab and open up to look at it. It's got about 3,200 hours on it. Runs great, fires right up. All the batteries are in excellent condition. Need you to put it back and it's snaps back in place. Now the front glass is in great shape. There's no chips, no cracks. Um, nothing of that nature. The front of the coach has a few little rock chips here on the front bumper on the lower parts. Kind of a common area. But overall for a 1999, um, the front of the coach looks excellent. Now this is a full body paint motorhome, as you can see. And we actually just had it buffed. Um, and it's huge to have RVs kept in a garage. So. It's really nice to find these older coaches that have been that well maintained and they've been kept out of the elements when they're not in, in use. A little storage compartment here. All the seals are in excellent condition. Um, they're still tacky. They're not dried out. They're not cracking. Um, all the air shocks look good too. And they shut very snugly. There's other seals here that these other, there's two sets of rubber, rubber seals. So it's double sealed, I guess you can call it that. So they all seal very well. Now it's got aluminum wheels all the way around. 22 and a half size wheels. That's the rim size, by the way. Now we've got another storage compartment here. And you can see the uh, front driver jack right there. It's got a four jack setup made by Power Gear. They work excellently. As you can see, they've, they've been put down right now. Now, even the paint down here on the lower parts of the coach are in great shape. This is a lot of times where you see a lot of little flaws. And here's a little flaw right there. Um, but overall, the condition on here is great. Looks like that's your hydraulic pump right there. You got another storage compartment here. And that's there's a section on the bottom of it that's passed through. So if you have some long um, item that is not too tall, you can fit it in there. This is your wet bay here. Excellent condition. A lot of times you'll see a lot of oxidation in these areas, and this one's showing minimal signs of that. Now you have a little sewer, sewer, sewer hose storage compartment there on the right, outside shower. You got your city water inlet, as well as fresh water inlet here. Yeah, the paint is in excellent, excellent condition. Um, and I'm very glad we buffed it. This coach deserves it. Very clean coach like this. Um, you know, it just adds to it a little bit. And the paint is just extra glossy. Looks fantastic. I'm a big fan of the mint colors too, myself. This is where our 50 amp power cord is kept. Got an automatic transfer switch up here on the right. Again, everything seals super well. Like you can feel all the air um, being forced out as you shut them, and there's a little bit of resistance because of that. Airstream is an excellent manufacturer, as I'm sure if you are familiar with the RV world, you're well aware of. Now this is your chassis side batteries here. You've also got a nice little cutoff here for your chassis batteries. There's the cutoff switch um, here for the chassis, and then there's a cutoff for the house batteries up in the front of the coach as well. So when you store it, um, and it's not going to be plugged into power, you can just easily shut the batteries off. The exterior is in excellent condition, um, considering that this is a 1999. I actually like the body style back here. The body style um, of the rear of this coach does not look like a 90s motorhome. It looks more, you know, actually a lot of the newer coaches, especially Forest River, if you've seen the Forest Rivers, um, they're actually starting to kind of look like this with the big uh, prominent grill and the prominent taillight. So this thing kind of, the style for the back is back in style for sure. 
You've got your radiator back here. Now this coach is powered by a 300 horsepower Caterpillar 3126B engine. Like I said, 300 horsepower, um, and it makes 860 foot-pound of torque as well. So you've got plenty of power coming from this engine. And cats generally feel like they're making more torque than they're actually rated at. I've got your tow hitch down here. It's got a 5,000 pound towing capacity. Looks like this is a Reese Type 5. You've also got your uh, port here for trailer lights, and it looks like there's an airport um, with a quick disconnect. So if you have one of those systems, the superior uh, systems for the flat towing um, that hits, hits the brakes in your tow vehicle, um, the air pneumatic systems are, are the superior ones. That has a connection already ready to go for you. Again, I can't get over the, the condition of the paint because it's just super, super glossy, um, just like a coach that's eight years old would be. All right, before we continue on this side, we're going to go ahead and get up on the roof. All right, we're up on the roof now. Now, this has a one-piece fiberglass roof. It's in excellent condition. Um, it looks fantastic. And this is yet another sign that this coach was kept in a garage um, and out of the elements. You've got a little satellite dish up here, as well as your standard antenna. The front main cap looks great. Um, a lot of times you'll see some clear coat coming off, and there is, there is some clear coat coming off over there. Um, but not very bad. It's not visible from down below. But other than that, the cap looks great. The seals look very good too. These look like very fresh seals. You can see my fingerprints I'm putting in them. Um, seals are fresh. The little satellite, I mean a little uh, solar panel right there. We've actually got, what's interesting is there's a, a, a sunlight in the... Um, in the living room kitchen area, which is pretty nice. That's where this is. Again, seals all are very fresh. I mean, they look like they've been, um, the coach looks like it's been resealed within the last few months. And we've actually got a little Max Air vent fan cover right here. It's got two air conditionings up here. This is your second rear one in the back. Rear main seal looks fantastic. The roof is excellent. I would give this a 9.5 out of 10 um, as far as condition goes. This is a great looking roof. All right, we're back down on the ground and we're looking at the passenger side of this coach. Um, so let's start back here with this very rear passenger side compartment. Another storage compartment here. Um, and it looks like you've got like carpeted and then there's plastic on the bottom. Well, this is, that's fiberglass, I take that back. That is not plastic. Right here is where your propane tank is located. There's also a little storage compartment for uh, your sewer hose as well. So there's, I guess, two storage compartments, which is interesting. And it looks like that's a fuel filter right there for your Caterpillar motor. The wheels are in excellent condition. I mean, you can see the shine coming off of them. Um, They're fantastic. A coach like this is hard to find. Um, a 1999, that's actually the year I was born. Um, and it's in really good condition. A lot of times coaches this old have been used um, and not maintained as hard as they've been used. Um, it's rare to find these coaches. Now here we have another storage compartment. Not entirely sure what this is. Okay, this looks like maybe some sort of, oh, I think I know what this is. This is the, uh, the step well cover uh, for inside. Looks like they decided to take it off to get some more space in there. This actually got newer carpet, a two month old carpet in the front of the coach, so that may have been why they took that off. Again, all the air shocks are good. It's just funny seeing um, an old coach with good air shocks. That's a sign that somebody's you know, taken care of it. They've noticed a detail such as an air shock. On here, we've got a pretty large storage compartment, and it's the other side of that small little pass through cavity. Um, from the driver's side of the coach. We've also got our uh, Xantrex inverter here up on the right. See the rating on it. Um, see if it says the rating. 2000. That's nice. This is a 2000 watt 
um, inverter. That's fantastic. So you can run your microwave, um, all your power outlets, your TVs, um, off your batteries, which is really nice. Another thing you don't see um, on older coaches, but it's very you, you do see them on a little higher end coaches, even if they're old. And right here we've got our four coach batteries or house side batteries. They look very new. Um, I know the chassis batteries had date code. I think you saw it in the video of a 2017 date code. And I don't see the date code on these, but they do look very new. Um, I don't want to spend too much of the time searching for a date code, but they look fantastic. Um, I'm sure if someone is super curious about that, you can look into our pictures and uh, details in our description and find out those date codes. Now, it's got cloth awnings all the way around. And by the way, these cloth awnings also have the aluminum shrouds, um, which is another sign of a higher end coach. The aluminum shrouds protect your cloth awnings um, from the elements such as UV light that can really deteriorate um, cloth awnings or fabric awnings very quickly, um, as well as the rain and moisture and things like that. So the aluminum covers on every single one, including the window awnings um, and front door awning is very nice. Now this right now is not in its full extended position. Um, it's actually down and I just noticed this before we did the video. This little piece right here that locks it into place is just not extending. Um, so we're gonna have our tech tighten this up so it can extend. It's a simple fix, but that's why it's down right now. But it's nice that it has a door awning as well. The door awning is super easy to pull out. All you do is just pull it out and it clicks in place. Very easy to operate. All right, let's take a step inside and check out this. Check out the, the step. It's a double step um, and it's aluminum. It's extremely sturdy. Um, it's a very sturdy step compared to other, um, those black colored steps. They don't have this extra protection on top of them. They just feel not as sturdy as these. All right, let's step inside. All right, we're on the interior of this coach now. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, the uh, previous owners who traded this in at our dealership actually just replaced uh, this carpet about two months ago. So it's all brand new carpet, looks very nice. Um, it's got a very homey, warm, cozy feel in here. You've got a, uh, the, the roof is, is curved, so all the water will go off and actually provides a kind of a neat feel in the coach as well um, when you see that. Now to your right, we have a nice little couch here. Um, the condition of the fabric is excellent. This should be, it is. This goes flat and turns into a little bed. Now the wood is a, it looks like an oak stained wood. Cabinetry and trim, lots of storage. They're all in excellent condition. Now we've got a Corian countertop kitchen area with an upgraded, this looks like a newer uh, sink, uh, like a faucet as well as soap dispenser. We've got a little filtered water center right there. We've got a microwave convection, convection oven made by Sharp. Now up above, you have your tank tests, um, so you can see where your propane tank is, fresh water, holding tank, uh, you know, gray and black holding tanks. You've got your water pump, and you've got another button for your generator start-stop. Now right over here uh, is the control center for your inverter, so you can turn your inverter on whenever you like. Well, obviously, you're going to turn it on when you're not connected to shore power or the generator is not on. Right here, we've got a three burner gas stove. This is my favorite type of cover um, for, or it's actually my second favorite type of cover uh, for stoves. It just folds and goes out of the way. It's very easy. Um, and if you're wondering, my first favorite is the kind that detaches and folds, which you know what, this one, it can do it. It's just a little more difficult to do it, but you can slide these off if you'd like. You just pick them up like that. See, it's a little different. But that's a nice little center right there for your stove. You've actually got a good bit of counter space back behind it as well. It's got a very neat feel in the kitchen because you've got the mirror going around and it kind of goes deep. Um, it makes it feel pretty large. Now right here we've got our refrigerator. Now this refrigerator runs off of either propane or electric power. It's got an ice maker as well. Very clean. The snaps work great. This is your little dining table or you know, kitchen table. Now this table extends and there's two fold out chairs as well so you can seat four people here comfortably. 
And actually, this is currently uh, Velcroed in, so it doesn't move around and rattle while you're going down the road. Got a nice, nice cabinetry set up here above your kitchen table. And you've got our Chick-fil-A cup from earlier today that I forgot that I put in there. <laughs> I've got a nice recliner here. Again, the fabric condition is excellent. A lot of times, uh, the recliners are the first to show really bad wear. I mean, this one has some wear, but it's actually in pretty good shape um, for the age. Got a little table here, storage compartment. Check that out. Is that a v VHS player? That's crazy. <laughs> VHS. Probably not even, well, it may still be connected, but we've got an upgraded uh, Insignia flat screen TV up here. Now these two uh, co-pilot chairs and pilot chairs both swivel um, and provide seating for the back of the coach when you're not going down the road. They're in excellent condition. Um, they're very comfortable. And we're going to talk more about this area later in the video when we go out on the test drive. But as you can see, the interior exterior is very, very clean. Um, you've got tile here in the kitchen all the way up into the, be um, into the bedroom. It's an excellent shape. Now we're back in the bathroom area here. You've got again a quarry and countertop sink area. You got your toilet right here. You've got controls for your water pumps, um, your lights, as well as your uh, electric fantastic fan vent, which is pretty nice. You can press a button and raise the fan and turn it on. Oh, we've got lots of lots of mirrors around here. And all of them have storage space behind them. It's always a mystery opening these up. <laughs> right here is your shower. It's a pretty spacious shower. Got a pretty good width. Um, the height is okay. There's about maybe eight inches about eight inches above me. Um, and I'm about six foot. I think I may have just crossed the six foot line and I'm so thankful for that. <laughs> now, I, I believe the people who traded this in were um, some type of missionaries. They actually, they bought our four travel. I um, mean, our four travel was a very clean coach as well. So they're actually planning on keeping this. That's why they put the new carpet in and then they saw our four travel um, and couldn't resist. So they traded this coach in. And this coach is in excellent condition. We've got a cedar, cedar wardrobe here. Those are your two fold-out chairs down on the bottom. Airstream is a fantastic manufacturer. Um, they have a, a great reputation for building quality coaches. Now this is actually, um, this is a lot of storage here obviously, but this is set up to, uh, to equip a washer-dryer combo. So you've got all your connections for your washer dryer right there. That's super nice. So if you'd like to install one, all you have to do is plop one right there. Um, and the rest, the hard part, which is getting all the connections for it, is already done. We'll step into the bedroom area. Now the bedroom area um, is a lot quieter. Everywhere else in the coach there's a little bit of echo. Um, and for some reason, I just noticed because I've been talking kind of loudly, I come in here and the, uh, there's a lot less echo, so that's pretty nice. You've got this beautiful little wood trim all around in here. Nice mirrors everywhere. You've got a lot of space on either side. And I've got lots of, I think all of the manuals for the coach are in there. That's how you know, I was reading up on the Caterpillar engine, uh, 3126B. Some more storage up here. This is a neat little area. So both sides, and that's pretty interesting right there. You actually have um, storage compartment there. It's blocked view from the front, but you have access to it um, from the side. So that's kind of an interesting little storage space right there. But this is a, a, a cozy, beautiful little little bedroom area, and you have to pull up on them. That's why, so you don't they don't fly out while you're going on the road. <laughs> yeah, this is a cozy little coach. I really like it, um, and the one slide is nice. You know, a lot of older coaches don't have slides, um, and the one slide pops out, gives you a little extra living space up here, a little extra room to breathe. Um, it provides a nice feel. All right, let's get this coach out on the road, and I'm going to give you my feedback on how this thing drives.
All right, we're getting on the highway now with this coach. And uh, the first thing I noticed right off the bat, even when you know I was driving around our storage, is this thing has a lot of power. It feels much more than 300. Um, I mean, this could pass for a 350 easily. So we're already up at 60 miles an hour, and I started halfway down that entrance ramp. We're at 65 miles an hour now. This thing drives fantastic. It's got plenty of power. It's got a nice exhaust brake as well. Just set cruise control. Look at that, dead straight. Dead straight. This thing drives so well. Um, around town, it feels little, you know? It's only 35 feet long, and that's pretty short for a diesel pusher, but as you see in the interior, I kind of forgot that it was that short. Um, and now that I'm kind of, you know, talking about it and having to articulate my thoughts, I'm like, oh yeah, that's why, probably. It's got like a 230 inch wheelbase or something. So the turns, it makes turns very easily um, in tight spaces. Um, and it rides so well on the, on the highway. This thing is great. It's got plenty of power. Exhaust brake is also very nice, works excellently. Now this has a six speed Allison transmission, push button, shifts gears very well. We've even got an air horn. <laughs> There's actually not too much vibrations at all coming through this Freightliner airbag chassis. It's also got air brakes. Yeah, this thing drives very well. It stays in its lane. I can just sit here and do this all day long. I'm just letting it roll on its own. <laughs> yeah, excellent driving coach. Um, Caterpillar makes, they make excellent engines, lots of torque. Uh, lots of low end power, and the Freightliner chassis is very nice as well. The road noise is minimal. There's not too much air coming through. It's very quiet up here. There's a little squeak coming from over there, one of the trim pieces, but not bad at all. Um, you know, I've driven a lot of newer coaches that have the whole dash is just squeaking when you're going down the road, but this one. Most of the time, there's nothing. No squeaking you hear coming from this coach. There's no vibrations in the steering. There's no shaking, there's no shimmying. As you saw multiple times, it's dead straight. I set it and it goes. And it's got a nice exhaust brake. Now I'm doing 60 and I'm coming in on the exit ramp. I'm on the exit ramp. So I'm gonna really test the brakes out here. Exhaust brake's kicking in, revving it up to 2,500. Oh yeah. This thing drives super well. Now what that is over there is that is the jacks beeping. Um, and I think the, the hydraulic fluid needs to be topped off a little bit. That, it happens sometimes where it, it'll say jacks down. Um, and obviously I've checked, the jacks are up. Uh, what that means, what it's indicating it that, is that it needs to top off of the fluid. And obviously we would have seen uh, some leaks because when we're sitting in the video spot, I had deployed the jacks, I had put the, the, uh, the slide out. Um, so there's obviously no leaks. It just needs to be topped off once in a while. Um, maybe, I don't know how they slowly lose fluid, but that is what that little beeping noise was. This drink drives so well. Um, this is one of those coaches where I feel like the wheels are really far behind me. Like they're, the wheels feel more behind me. I know in most coaches the wheels are actually behind you. Um, but in this one I really feel that. And I actually like that feeling um, when I'm in corners because I feel like I'm kind of ahead of the coach. And I feel like I'm already, you know, the chassis is behind me. So I get to determine exactly where I want to place the chassis. Um, so I feel like I already have a little more information from being up here, and I'm like, okay, I know where I'm at. Then I can turn and swing the, you know, the actual wheels um, behind me. So that's an interesting take. I don't know if anyone else feels that way about coaches that are really, um, you know, the, the driving position is really pronounced up in the front of it, but I like that feeling. The mirrors are excellent. Completely eliminates the blind spot. And there's so much power. I'm already at 65 miles an hour and keeping up with cars. 
coming uphill um, on an on-ramp from a dead stop. I'm going to set cruise again. I've set cruise at 70 miles an hour now. Oh, I forget that. Can't have exhaust brake on older coaches on while you have your um, cruise control set. This is back in the day. This is before everything is electronic, and I kind of like that, actually. So now cruise control set at 70 miles an hour. We're going up a hill. And this coach just drives very, very well. I think I'm gonna continue to repeat myself, so. Oh, and by the way, transmission oil temperature gauge. That is a very nice gauge to have, um, especially if you plan on towing something. Yeah, and you have your backup camera over here to my left. So, all right, I think that'll complete the video today for this 1999 Airstream Cutter 35. Um, this is an excellent, all-around excellent condition coach. It's got some great specs on it. Um, and if you're looking to get into diesel pushers, you cannot go wrong with this coach um, because it can, it's been maintained super well. Um, it also is built by an excellent manufacturer. Um, and it's ready to hit the road. This is a very nice coach, very clean. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, keep an eye on our channel. We, you know, we tend to get a lot of clean coaches like this one in stock. Thank you so much. Call or text 864-404-0054. Uh, Check out a link to our ad too. It has the number. So if you don't want to listen to me, you know, try to write down the number, you can look at it on look at it on the ad. So thank you so much for watching.